Hello boys and girls, Andy Raphael from eTechnics.com here with a video preview. Now obviously everyone knows that um, the new Z77 chipset from Intel is coming up very very soon and that means um, new third generation Intel processors um, which Intel aren't saying that it's called this but as we all know it's all called Ivy Bridge. So um, Ivy Bridge coming out um, sometime next month. I'm not going to give exact concrete um, dates or anything like that but because of it um, obviously motherboard manufacturers are jumping on the ship of um, creating new boards with the new Z77 chipset. Now by creating these boards with this new Z77 chipset it's allowing support for the new uh, Ivory Bridge processors as well as still supporting Sandy Bridge which as we know is Intel's best selling platform at the moment. And because of that, we are seeing more and more boards flooding into the market from the likes of ASUS, Gigabyte, MSI, and some other brands that maybe you haven't heard of so much um, compared to some of the biggest. But that doesn't necessarily mean that they're bad boards. It just means that you know they haven't got the resources that the likes of ASUS and some of the bigger brands have got. And one of these is BioStar. Now, as you can see next to me, I've got the BioStar uh, TZ77XE4 motherboard. Um, don't know a massive amount about this, it's literally just come into the offices so what we're going to do is we thought, um, obviously we can't post a review or anything yet, performance figures, we don't want to break any NDAs that we've got with Intel but we thought that we'd actually give you a look at the board aesthetically wise um, and also sort of show you uh, a couple of the features, talk through some of the features that this particular board has got from BioStar. So no point in me sort of rambling on about obviously the new um, Intel processors or the Z77 chipset instead I'm just going to bring you straight in so we can start unboxing this, have a look at the packaging, what comes on offer and then have a look at the board itself, you guys can see what you think and then obviously comment at the end of this video. So um, let's come straight in and have a look at the BioStar TZ77XE4 uh, motherboard. So boys and girls, it's uh, me behind the camera again. Uh, as you know, I did um, for the past couple of videos have a cameraman, but um, he's not here today and this has come in and I wanted to get this out sort of as soon as possible. Um, because of that, I'm operating the camera, as you can see, and this could be quite fiddly because generally opening a box and things like that with one hand can be quite difficult. So straight away, taking a look at the front of the box, this is the BioStar TZ77XE4. X, I'm guessing, stands for extreme. Um, as it says up here, T-series XE. T overclocker, so uh, obviously there's going to be a big push for overclocking on the Z77 platform, and BioStar have adopted that. So we've got um, smart overclocking, smart over voltage, and smart power saving. Obviously, these are three key main things that uh, you know the average user wants. They want to be able to overclock it as far as possible um, by you know increasing the voltage, but doing it smartly without blowing things up, and obviously keeping some power saving um, things going on as well. So um, 3D um, HDMI visual, HDMI SATA 3 or 6G, um, USB 3.0 support, radio and crossfire. Uh, AMD graphics, we've got 100% solid capacitors, 13 phase power, THX surround, we have DisplayPort on air virtual MVP, which um, a lot of you know is all about sort of integrating your graphics and your discrete graphics card all in one. Uh, we also have uh, PuroTone 110 dB, so it's something to do with audio. Intel SRT by uh, SSD caching between your SSD and your hard drive to give you better performance. Supports Intel uh, Core Processors, Z77 chipset, NVIDIA SLI support, and uh, ready for native PCIe Gen 3. So lots of great features on here. Turning the box over, there is a, a very brief sort of sticker here which just talks through some of the main features. If you were to see this in the store, you can get some more information there. But looking at the back is where uh, things delve into a little bit more detail about each individual feature. So T overclocker um, really just talks about um, a simple Windows-based system performance enhancement and utility management. So this is going to be their own software to obviously get the very most out of this board. But when overclocking, we do advise just using the BIOS. Don't use software like this, but it's entirely up to you if you want to try it. So we've got SRT technology for the Intel uh, Smart Response uh, SSD caching. Solid capacitors, 100% solid caps. Virtual MVP from Lucid. Um, Gigabit LAN, that's 10, 100, 1000. Um, a UFE BIOS. PCI Express 3.0 ready. USB and SATA 3.0, HDMI with HTCP, um, THX audio, we've also got um, the T overclocker um, utility system, uh, GPU improves and enhances energy efficiency, and Bio Remote 2 makes your smartphone even smarter, so that's quite interesting. 
Now down the bottom here you can see some of the uh, logos for various different uh, review sites across the world um, and obviously some of the awards that Biostar products have been given. Now opening up the box we can have a look at what we get inside so we've got a uh, nice black rear I.O. panel and this gives us a, a first look into what's going to be on the back so um, mouse, keybo, uh, mouse keyboard combo port, USB, display port, HDMI, DVI, eSATA, gigabit LAN, more USB and audio as well. We get some SATA cables and this is all sort of strapped up in a, a Biostar branded Velcro sort of cable tie system so uh, I'm not sure if the camera is picking that up but um, if so apologies for the uh, dog um, there is a dog near our offices and uh, it never shuts up so we've got um, one set of cable here another one so that's two three and four and these are all orange and there is a very very good reason why they're orange and you'll see from the board uh, we've also got a crossfire bridge and uh, sorry an SLI bridge and a crossfire bridge so we've got both of them crossfire and SLI and we've also got a user's manual as well so we get a user's manual for the TZ77XE4 and then obviously a driver installation disc now remember me saying about these cables being orange there is a very good reason and you will see that now the board has got orange on it now this is great if you've got um, like a memory kit like the Gale um, Enhanced Corsa which is actually orange and um, because there are no boards really on the market apart from um, ones from Gigabyte like the uh, X58OC that actually incorporates orange colour scheme. So what we're going to do is we're going to pause the camera for now and um, I'm going to get this out of the anti-static bag, move all this other stuff out of the way and then we can have a first look at this uh, Z77 motherboard from Biostar. So boys and girls this is the Biostar um, T-Series TZ77 um, XE4 uh, motherboard so straight away we can see that it conforms to ATX form factor and um, the PCB is black it's not a dark brown it is actually black which is really really nice especially with the black PCI Express ports and the black memory ports as well um, we've got a little bit of orange on here so talking about the sort of cooling uh, we've got a passive design around the CPU socket um, just really keeping cool on the uh, VRMs, the caps and things like that. Um, this is sort of an orange and black and then it's connected via a heat pipe over here. And then the only other bit is over the Z77 chipset and it's got the Biostar logo and branding on there as well. Black heat sink with this sort of orange shield over the top. Now, taking a look around the board, um, here's the socket. As you can see, it's exactly the same as um, Z68, so it's still 1155, um, does support 22 nanometer CPUs, which is obviously the new Ivy Bridge processors. Um, other than that, there's quite a, an ample amount of room around the CPU socket for you to uh, obviously put large coolers, water cool blocks, and things like that on there, so you shouldn't have any problem with that. Um, memory wise, we have got four dual channel slots over here. Um, I'm not going to comment too much on sort of the memory support and things like that because I'm not sure if it's actually going to break NDA as to what. Ivory Bridge can support, but obviously you can overclock, um, and as it says here, dual channel DDR3 2400. So the board supports 2400. I'm not going to say what Ivory Bridge supports, and um, because I will be shooting myself in the foot there. But obviously 2400 plus, so you can overclock this, and I know that G Skill brought out some 2666 memory and things like that as of late. Um, so hopefully that that will give you an idea there. Um, we have got some. Um, Power wise we have got um, obviously the normal ATX24 pin and then we've got an 8 pin over here as well um, where you'd normally expect it. Um, PCI Express, obviously PCI Express 3.0 is supported on this board and to start with we've got a PCI Express X16 lane up here, we've got an X1 lane just down here, we've got another X16 down here so obviously you can get your Nvidia SLI or ATI Crossfire X as displayed here and you can get that functioning. And then we've got two legacy PCI slots down here, and then another uh, further PCI Express X16 lane down here as well. Um, in terms of SATA ports, we can see that we've got eight in total. Now, some of these are SATA 3, some of them are SATA 2. Um, so what we've actually got is SATA ports 1 through to 4 are 6 gig per second, and... Um, so SATA 1 and SATA 4 are 6 gig a second, SATA 2 and 3 are 3 gig a second and it actually does tell you just down here 
the sort of support on that. And then obviously there are eight, um, and it just sort of goes through that you know some of the eSATA, and they've all got various different sort of codes for what each SATA port is. Um, once we have the full review, we will sort of tell you um, exactly which ports are supported by the Intel Z77 uh, chipset and which ones are supported by a, a third party, if any at all. So I'm not giving too much away. Sorry, guys. Um, we have got a debug LED down here as well, which is nice to see on uh, more and more boards these days because it is handy when overclocking. We've got all of our front panel connectors for reset, hard drive LED, speaker, power, power LED. Uh, reset button, quite solid fill buttons, power button, and then a clear CMOS button as well. Moving further over, we've got fan headers, USB 2.0 ports, native USB 3.0 port, um, COM port, We've also got system fans, um, audio um, for SPDIF, and then also the front audio connector just over here as well. Um, other than that, there's quite a lot in terms of branding on the boards telling you some of the main features. So PCI Express 3.0, THX Audio, over here USB 3.0, eSATA, DVI, HDMI 1.4a, DisplayPort, 13 phase CPU power. So it really does sort of shout to the to the consumer, even with the sort of dual channel DDR3 2400 plus and USB 2.0, it just gives you that extra branding, you know, USB 3.0, and just telling you where everything is. So even for novice users, they're going to be able to see, you know, what this board has got um, in terms of features. Now um, over here, this is quite a funky little thing. Not quite sure what's underneath it. Um, maybe something to do with the uh, audio. But it's nicely branded with this sort of laser cut BioStar logo, which is quite nice. And lastly, looking at the rear I.O. So, as said, um, we've got a um, PS2 uh, port. We've got two USB 2.0s. We've got DisplayPort and HDMI. VGA, DVI. So lots of different um, connectivity options if you're not going to be using a graphics card or if you want to use um, Lucid MVP, which we do actually know that if you're going to use the iGPU on here in conjunction with a discrete graphics card it doesn't matter now if you plug it into the graphics card or one of these ports it will run no matter what and obviously that's going to give you the good balance if you're um, you know needing uh, extreme graphics card power you may have like a GTX 680 in here or a Radeon 7970 or, or you know any other card on the market depending on if you need that or just the iGPU on the CPU then you know this technology is going to give that and I've never been a fan of Lucid Technologies but we saw it at CBIT and it's some really really interesting stuff so great connectivity options on here we've also got eSATA two USB 3.0 ports I was expecting a few more but two sort of sufficient because we have got the uh, USB 3.0 native header over there as well for your front panel and um, so two USB port ports here and um, two USB 2.0 ports here Gigabit LAN um, which is supplied by Intel and then we've obviously got our uh, 7.1 channel HD audio as well uh, with this Puro Tone 110 dB. So there you go guys, um, nice and simple and to the point and that's what we were hoping to sort of give you with this preview. Um, like I say I'd love to be able to give you figures and facts and all sorts on this board but sadly I cannot. Um, if you check out, if you're watching this on YouTube, if you check out um, etechnics.com um, the link is actually in the description below and um, where we have actually got all the pictures of this board and we'll be talking about the features in a little bit more detail mainly the features from Biostar not the ones from Intel um, but we will be giving uh, a little bit more information on what we've actually got on offer in terms of the capabilities for PCI Express a little bit more on the storage memory support I may even give a little bit more away there and there you go so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Remember to rate, subscribe and comment on this video and what you thought of the Biostar uh, T-Series TZ77 XE4 motherboard.